morning everybody it's Friday here at Aunt Bex Creations and today we're going to do mail art and what that is is these envelopes like this There's a couple like that and then like that all right so we're going to aim for something similar to these but they won't be exactly alike because I don't want them to be uh, I want it to be unique Let's see is that that's as good as we're going to get. All right. So what you start with is just some plain manila envelopes. And I do not gesso mine. Some people do. I don't. And you can spread the paint with your hands, with a sponge, with a brush, whatever your desire. Um, I'm actually just going to spread to get color on. Uh, this is a auto bondo uh, squeegee like thing and what I have is assortment of paints that I'm almost out of and I'm trying to use them up but I'm also going to grab two or three other paints out of my paint stash <coughs> just random that one's going to need to be open but that's okay um, all right and some of these paints, uh, let's see if I can find one. No, that's not. I like this one. Hear how watery that is? I only had a tiny little bit of this gold left, and I just added water, and I'll use it for splattering. So that's why that's there. So let's get started. And I have kind of a stack of envelopes here, and I do multiples so that if I have excess paint, when I'm working on one, I can just start another one by spreading it around. Um, so I'm not wasting the paint and letting it just dry. I'm just going to put a little yellow on there. And what I do is I just pick it up a little bit and move it around. See, the only thing with yellow is it's so close to the color of the envelope that it's not going to be too visible. But don't worry about whether it's it's real visible or not. Right now you're just wanting to cover it with color. And just, that one's real watery too. We'll save that for splattering. Let's see if we can get any out of this one. I should have had these all upside down in there. Thank you. 